on your shirt looks awfully scary, sir. <laughs> spring wheat, good for bread, not too good for pastries. So what would happen is, the wheat would get cleaned on the second floor, <laughs> come down here into the hopper, from the hopper, you go into the eye of the stone, that's right here, inside this crypt, there's two sets of stone, very identical to here. So this top stone is actually the stone that you see moving over there, it's the only stone that's moving. The bed stone just remains stationary and just stands still. Okay. So the wheat would fall through the top stone, land on the bottom stone. The top stone would go over it to pick up the wheat, grind it to flour, go to the outside, and fall in the hole. Oh, yeah. Which you would get us holy yeah. flour. Cool. Fine, but it also contains the bran and the coarse fibers. So that's the fiber and whole wheat bread, that's what it would come from. If you want white flour like this, we'd have to separate the other shells. So you have the middlings, the shorts, and the bran. And that's all in the whole wheat that's right here. So what you do is we'd sift it out to that device right there. It's called a bolter. So the whole wheat will go inside that drum. Around that drum, there's silk. So as you know, silk is very, very fine. Same as this white flour. So we'll be able to sift through. steam engine in here. Oh yeah? And behind me is the boiler. And this machinery is for the flour mill up here behind us. Okay. Just a small fire on the boiler today to keep it warm. Yeah. And uh, that's about it for me. Cool.
you keep it a long time, or is it uh, quickly uh, out of use? <laughs> a broom. How many are you? I have a round. I have the round broom right there mm -hmm. at home. I've had it 14 years. I use it every day. Okay. In my real home. <laughs> uh, in your real. In my home. Today's yeah. Home. Yes, it, uh, it's a bit tricky and a little bit difficult, uh, but with practice, uh, you would be able to make a nice even yarn. So it will take a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and little bedrooms there, they were for the sick and elderly of the family, and then three more rooms were upstairs as well. So a family of ten in this home. Yeah, yeah. 